Hey guys, and welcome to my MELF's uh, Minute Meteor Macro uh, walkthrough. And so, with this uh, macro, I wrote it about six months ago, and it was a little complex. It basically updated some items, required you to, to create some stuff, and I was look, kind of looking around. Uh, I looked at the way uh, Kandashi handles uh, creating things, so I just went ahead and used one of his macros. But then... I kind of thought about it and I'm like, you know what, I can take this a step further because I had already had a way to self-terminate the item. So I just imported that over uh, from it and it works pretty darn smoothly. So uh, this macro does require item macro module uh, written by Kilkilla uh, just so then it can do some further executes. And I went ahead and included the JSON for that item. Uh, to be all preset in for you, uh, so then you don't gotta worry about creating that. So I probably uh, covered some of this in a previous video, uh, but let's go ahead and check out Cub Peter real quick uh, for you guys using Cub. Uh, let's go into Concentrator, turn turn it off, just get rid of it. You don't want to use a uh, concentrator for a computer. Uh, uh, the module, the condition modules for itself are awesome to use and great. I'm not saying don't use those. I'm just saying don't use a concentrator uh, from this. What you want to use is you want to use MIDI's. So uh, first of all, uh, another thing too, you want to go to item macro. I covered this in another uh, video. Uncheck both of these. And then you want to go in the workflow. Uh, go to workflow again, and from here you want to make sure that enable uh, concentration automation is uh, checked, and then from there basically uh, save it, save it, and uh, from that point, and then after you've saved through and your uh, modules may uh, may have required a reload or whatever, um, let's go ahead and check out things. So from here, uh, let's go in the spell book. I've got the uh, spell for uh, Melf's Minute Meteor. Let's go ahead and open this up. So uh, the main spell lives in the item macro for here. And then with the included JSON that I'm giving you, uh, it's got an additional uh, macro in here, which goes into, which inserts itself into item macro upon the item's creation. And then in day, we've got an effect here, and all that does is executes item macro and then captures the spell level of the spell being cast. So from here, let's go ahead and switch over to my, to the uh, player, which I already have logged in. Okay, and from the player side, I've got a hot bar macro here. Uh, as you can see, it's looking for the full version, which is Meteors, and then I'm having a single version being Meteor. Uh, then from here, it checks the uh, token actor, uh, and then looks for the uh, the single version, which is Meteor, which is what it's going to be creating. Uh, if it exists, cast it. If not, then go ahead and cast the main spell. So from here, let's go ahead and cast it. So it's asking us to, you know, do we want to use a spell slot? And then uh, let's go ahead and click that off. Let's go ahead and do the main cast. Okay. And then it goes ahead and does that. And then let's go ahead and uh, thwap our macro again. And now it's completely different. Now it's asking us, hey, we've got charges and stuff. So what it's done is uh, it's created this uh, innate spell casting version of it. And if we open that up, uh, we can see that it's got saving throw, 2d6 fire damage, and it's utilizing item macro. Uh, other than that, uh, let's go ahead and uh, check out that. So from here, we go into uh, item macro, and you can see that it, it goes, it uses a uh, MIDI um, on use. So grabs the actor, grabs the item, checks the number of uses on the item. Uh, if it's at zero, it will basically go back to the character, uh, look for concentrating, and then destroy concentrating. 
Now, the reason I told you to uh, uh, turn off the Cub version and elect for MIDI is, uh, I think I may have covered this in another video of mine, but just to uh, reiterate that information. When you kill uh, Concentration, it kills any spells or effects that are binded to that that uh, instance of Concentration. So think of Concentration as a, um, as a connected container. So if you had, uh, let, let's say, uh, uh, Witch Bolt, which I used in that other uh, video, my previous video of mine, uh, if you wanted to, you know, have the effect on this particular person, you can just go ahead and kill Concentration. It'll kill the effect which was on that target, and then basically you'll start uh, fresh clean. So in this case, once we kill Concentration, it will kill the uh, day effect, and then it'll also kill this item. So let's go ahead and uh, uh, do some spell casting. Let's burn these uh, little goblins. Actually, let's switch back up. All right, now that we're back on our player account, let's go ahead and cast a spell. And from here, you can see that it's done its fire damage. And they uh, both failed their saving throws. And then from there, uh, let's go ahead and just uh, mark this down at a one. And then as you can see here, both the icons just vanished. Then we open up the character sheet, the innate, the innate spell cast is gone. So if we go up to the upper rank one, see it's back. This time now we have eight charges instead. And everything is pretty much the same because the damage never changes. You just get more, more shots. Thanks so much for watching this video. And uh, here's a list of the modules that are featured in this video. Go ahead and check them out. They're pretty awesome to use. I also want to give a shout out to my Patreon followers. Thank you guys so much for the continued support. I'll go ahead and catch you guys in the next video. See you later.